Uh, all right, YouTube. Let me tell you about the time that I had a car crash. That was the first time ever I've had a car crash in my life. And that was the only time so far, knock on wood. So, this happened back in, I believe, December? Yeah, I think that was around when it happened. And I live in a town outside of Boston. So during the winter, there happens to be snow, which is no fun. Uh, but during that time period when I had the car crash, there wasn't like fully snow on the ground. It was like a rainy, icy uh, day. It was like kind of hailing uh, with kind of ice on the ground and stuff, you know? So, and slushy. So, I had, at the time I had two jobs. One of the jobs was the town over from me, but it was on the other side of that town. So, it took me about like 15 minutes each time to get to that um, work. So, it was one morning when I was heading, heading to that job, and I was going across a bridge. And right after you cross that mini bridge across the highway, there's like a, there's a four-way stop, right? Except it's not exactly a four-way stop, uh, this intersection. Um, me, like anyone who's coming to and from the bridge, have the right of way. When it comes to the left and right, they have a stop sign each. So there was a guy uh, coming from the left, and he went through the stop sign. And I noticed that he wasn't going to stop, and so I only had two choices at that point because I was getting pretty close to either swerve off to the side uh, and hope like I, I'm able to dodge him and then get back on the road or hit him. If I would have hit him, it would have been his, his fault. And, um, but I didn't want to deal with that whole consequence of like the damage and like getting it repaired, the insurance, this, that, this, that, uh, and like also waiting for the repairs to be done, blah, 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 blah. So what I decided to do was try to swerve around, but it didn't work. I tried to do the swerve, but the car lost full control. It slid all the way to the other side of the road. So it slid kind of uh, at the diagonal kind of point which is in between the left and, the, and going straight as well. So I hit the curb. And I thought it would have been a thing where I got a flat tire or something. Sadly, it was a lot worse than that. It was like the bottom, uh, I don't know what it's called or anything like that, but it's like the bottom frame of the car was pushed back. So like that big part had to be replaced by my mechanic and the total of the repair was 1700 something like that and because and and this this was the worst part so i didn't do it through my insurance because if i would have i would have lost money uh because what happened was this driver who caused that drove off like kept on going he didn't bother stopping, uh, even though it was obvious I was going to crash. Um, so, and another really bad part about this was I ordered a dash cam literally, I think like a, a week or so before then because it was Cyber Monday. So I got a good deal on it and that was going to be my first dash cam ever. Uh, but the dash cam didn't happen to arrive at my house yet. The dash cam arrived actually, I think, three or four days after the crash. 
Uh, so it would have been really convenient if I had that dash cam. And it gets worse. There, there's more like details that just make the whole situation worse. So that car was the first car I've ever bought in my life. It's a 2019 Honda Civic. Uh, and it w it's used, but barely, barely used. I think it was like uh, 14,000 miles, which is nothing. And I bought that in November. So it was literally like a month and a half before then that I bought that car. So one last aspect about this whole car crash situation that sucked. Uh, I mean, that would have been a lot worse than it was, but thankfully it didn't get to that point, was I crashed, yeah, at the curb on the other side, but thankfully I didn't hit another car that would have been there. If uh, like, that's where another car on the other side would be uh, waiting at the stop sign, right? I would have hit that car if there was a car there. Or if there happened to be a pedestrian car crossing the street, I would have hit the pedestrian. Or I also hit, I hit the curb where it was in between a pole and a stop sign. So I could have, if it, if I hit the pole, then it would have damaged the car a lot. Um, or if I hit the stop sign, it would have damaged the car and damaged property. So I was lucky in that regard. I was lucky I wasn't hurt. Um, but I was very unlucky in the sense that I lost 1,600 or so dollars uh, from a car crash I did not cause. And I did not have a dash cam at the time. So moral of the story, get a dash cam. Dash cams do not cost that much nowadays, thankfully. They're easy to use, easily accessible, and can help you in a lot of ways. Not only car crashes, but in other means, all right? So, uh, uh, <clears throat> so like, subscribe, check out my other stories. I got a lot of interesting stuff. This was mild compared to my other stories. So check out my other stuff. And check out my music. All right, bye-bye.